In this episode, I've traveled to Grand Rapids, Michigan. Turns out, that's the place I was born, so this is kind of like going home, in a sense. I left Grand Rapids when I was nine years old, uh, which was in 1967. And this was the first time that I had ever returned to Grand Rapids. So I'm sure much had changed. And so I don't really know how much I was looking at things from my childhood, the first nine years, or just things that had changed. But reviewing my mother's memoirs, I was able to visit several of the streets on which we lived when I was very, very young. But I didn't have any specific addresses. I did in one case, and in another I remember specifically the house due to its location to a, a high school uh, football stadium that I remember going out uh, into its parking lot during a tornado warning when the sirens were going off and everything and my mom saying, I'd rather know where it is than just go hide somewhere. <laughs> so maybe that's where I got my love of uh, thunderstorms from. But I did uh, drive around and uh, see um, the places that I knew where I had lived, but also some of the streets that I had lived on. I went and saw the elementary school that I attended all those years ago, up until fourth grade, actually. And um, in 1967, when I started fourth grade, we moved out to Riverside, California. And Riverside, California, then, I'm sure, was quite different than it is today. Not sure when or if I will get uh, back to Riverside. Um, I did visit Riverside in, oh, 2002, I think. Anyway, another place that I saw was the hospital where I was born. That hospital is called Butterworth Hospital. It's now a part of the Spectrum Medical conglomerate. But I walked into the lobby of that hospital and uh, chatted with uh, one of the information folks and one of the security folks who confirmed that, yes, this actually was the uh, the original hospital. Uh, of course, with hospital complexes, they tend to evolve and blossom over time. So what was maybe just a single building becomes an entire campus of buildings. And that uh, was certainly the case with this uh, Butterworth Hospital uh, being absorbed by Spectrum Medical or whatever it's called, Spectrum something. And... Um, and it had blossomed into something huge. But I do have some pictures of very old portions of the hospital, which I'm sure is probably the exact place that I was born. Wandered around the downtown area and also saw the Episcopalian church where I was baptized. So that was interesting. Unfortunately, although it was a Sunday, the uh, church had already uh, closed down for the day. It was maybe mid-afternoon as I was walking around downtown. I got lots of uh, video of the streets that I visited and uh, whatnot. But as for the most part, it was just... Uh, driving to and then walking up and down streets where, you know, I lived apparently as a small child but not really knowing the address. I thought that putting that in a video would be about as 
boring as watching paint dry. So I'm not going to do that. But uh, the one thing that I did do was go visit the Grand Rapids uh, Public Museum because I wanted to see a particular attraction there which back in the day my memory is that it used to be called the Gaslight Village. There is in East Grand Rapids nowadays something that is referred to as the Gaslight Village and has nothing to do with the museum at all. Uh, presently I believe they call it Old Time Grand Rapids. So that's what we're gonna see today is what used to be Gaslight Village and what now is, I guess, Old Time Grand Rapids. So let's go take a look. I'm at the uh, Grand Rapids Public Museum. This is their overlook of the Grand River. Very nice. Downtown Grand Rapids. The place where I was born. in a hospital somewhere right downtown. Well, I wasn't expecting to find an Apollo capsule here, but I would look at it. <laughs> Ever so slight disappointment. I've uh, arrived here at the uh, Public Museum. And I'm told that this is not the same public museum that was open back in my childhood. So I was really looking forward to visiting the, what is now referred to as the Streets of Old Grand Rapids. And that's uh, straight ahead here. Um, but which I believe back when I was a child was referred to as the Gaslight Village, but I'm told that that's actually um, something that was uh, in a different building, not all that far from here, but this is an entirely different facility from what I knew as a child. So, uh, disappointment in that, you know, I'm not actually seeing uh, you know, what I had seen then, but we'll give it a shot. And they said no, no worries about uh, filming, so. We'll go ahead and give you the tour a little bit. It's going to be dark in there, I think, so I don't know how the camera will do. Anywho. station. Oh, very clever. And now it gets dark. This is eerily familiar to what I recall as a child though. Oh, the funeral director.
Some of this doesn't look really all that old, like it's just printed on a laser printer. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Perpetual vegetables. Mm -hmm. mm, the print shop is closed. I wonder why. Could it be the computer? I remember doing typesetting back in, like, junior high or something like that. All of the little individual letters on little blocks, like these. It was a lot of fun. Very manual, very time intensive. Soda fountain chemicals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, drugs and medicine. I don't know if I'll be able to read that or not. Looks kind of grainy. Lights very low in here. And my guess is these candies aren't from back in that day, but I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Ice cream soda for five cents with ginger ale and mineral water. Here's the bicycle shop. Tires of saw blades. Uh, that's interesting. Looks like they did more than just bicycles at the bicycle shop. Yard implements. Axes. Kitchen utensils. And oh boy, look at this car. A nondescript door, but it definitely looks like some sort of an apothecary. Bissell carpet cleaners, oh my goodness. Carpets oil cloth, <laughs> okay. And more. <laughs> so there's more fine china and silver than carpets. Ooh, capes and cloaks. You get a dagger with that?
nothing creepy about that doll. Not sure what that is in her lap, but um, I don't think I want to know. Oh, cool old sled. I remember old sleds like that. Probably had one. Wooden. You turn it and it would flex the uh, little runners. <laughs> wow. The camera looks to be picking this up a little bit better than just the ambient lighting in here, so I don't know. <laughs> If I can back out a little bit, get a bigger, lighter view of it. Yeah, that's very cool. I think this may be a fire engine. Let's go a little bit wider so we can get it all in. I'm looking through a window, so it's uh, not all that easy to get everything in. Very cool. I'll stay in wide view here for a bit. That's it already. Horse drawn. Yep, that was kind of short. I don't know if the old gaslight village from my youth was that small. To me, then it was larger than life. Or as large as life, anyway. Got some pretty cool old things on here. Really old phones. Toasters. A waffle maker. Look at the electrical. <laughs> phonograph where you stuck the uh, earpiece to your ear to listen. Radiant Space Heater from GE. I have no idea what that blue thing is. It almost looks like a modern day laser disc. It seems to have some sort of an instrument in the middle of it. I can tell what that is. Is that like a thermometer? Maybe I'll be able to see it better on the video when I look at it later. Original old televisions. Oh, an old movie projector. Imagine your life without electricity. That would have been very different. Electrostimulator. I don't even want to know what that's used for. That crazy ideas we had before we figured it all out. I think a lot of things we haven't figured out yet. City of the future. I know we had dreams. Some of them have come true. Others? Yeah, I don't know. Not so much, maybe. 
this old mixer. Gosh, I have an old drill that looks almost just like that. Never knew it was that old. But it actually is pretty old. place where that can be red because the reflections are so great. The first electrical light arrived in Grand Rapids in 1880. 1880. Hundred years before the greatest era in music began. Arguably. Many would agree with me though. What is this thing? I have no idea what that is. Fire alarm? Is that what? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. I guess this has something to do with the fire alarm. Gainwell Fire Alarm Company in New York. So that's it for the streets of Old Grand Rapids at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Really enjoyed the couple of days I spent in the Grand Rapids area. Even got to meet a friend that I had made online and that just so happened to live in Grand Rapids. So a little happy coincidence there. And as I'm preparing to head out of... Grand, the Grand Rapids area, I'd you know like to thank you for watching this video and um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.